Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Runnels versus Taylor. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Runnels, you claim a lifelong medical condition led you to believe you would never be a father. That was until the birth of your daughter, Ireland, who you claim is your miracle baby. But now the defendant says you are not the father. You are here to prove that miracles really do happen. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Taylor, you say it breaks your heart to stand in court to prove that Mr. Runnels is not Ireland's daddy, as you wish in your heart he were. But you say the truth is, another man is her biological father. Mr. Runnels, why is this test so important to you? This test is so important to me. For me to be able to have a daughter, it's a miracle. Having Ireland? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Taylor? Yes, Your Honor. You say you want that miracle, too. Yes. But you just don't believe. No, I don't. This is the case. Not in my heart. Tell the court. Well, he has a, like, I don't know what it's called. Called a hypospadias? Okay, can you describe that for the court? All it is is it's where the hole in the penis is in the wrong spot. It, okay. Instead of being up top, it's more towards the bottom of the head. The, the, the actor just said that it's a big possibility that I may never be able to have kids if the surgeries don't take. Oh, and I've so had, you actually had surgeries yes, for this Yes, I've condition. had like four. You have? Yeah. To try to correct this particular yeah. condition. and none of them's worked. It's all closed back up and the original hole opened back up. Mm. But he was never okay. physically told the by the hospital or a doctor that he wasn't able to have kids. Either. Yeah, it wasn't. But a you believe for sure thing. Right, but you to- you were told that it was it could potentially be a complication. Oh yes. All right, and so Miss Taylor, you were well aware of this. Yes. How long have you all been together? We've been together almost four years. All right, so you were in a long-standing relationship. We tried for a good two years, and nothing was happening. We were talking about, you know, going into adoption if it didn't happen, to try to, you know, get a kid, because we really do want to start a life together. We want to have our own little family and, you know, get out in the world. We had unprotected sex, and we tried for so many times to have it. Nothing was working. So then I decided to go and do something different. And Wait, what did you do? You have to be specific in court. I had went and cheated on him with a guy I had actually known for a little while. That's funny, because that ain't what you had told me. Oh, it is not? No. What did she tell you, Mr. Ronald? Her, her original story, when I found out, because like I said, it lo- like, this is a miracle baby to me. You know, this is, um, bottom line is, this don't work. If, if this is not my kid, I, I gotta go. There's, there's not no more to it. When you found out you were pregnant, who did you tell? The other guy you were pregnant, or did you tell Mr. Ronald? I told them both, actually. I told the other guy on Facebook that I might be pregnant, it could be his baby. Just, and I told him to. But did you tell Mr. Runnels you cheated? No, ma'am. No, I did not. He found out physically had, on my I Facebook. I had to hack her Facebook and find out by myself. So, and, and so what did you see? Uh, the, the very first message that popped up was her telling the other dude that it might be his, or it's more than positive for his kid. Oh, my goodness. And, like, it hurt. It, like, it was, it was so bad. Like, I felt like I had a heart attack. I was shaking so bad. And, I mean, every time I get to still thinking about it, like right now, my knees are just shaking because it just hurts so bad to know that... Because up until that point, you believed you were the father and this was your miracle child. And, I mean, legally, I am the father. Legally, right now, I am the father. How far along was she when you found out or was baby Ireland already here when you broke into this? No, 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 no. I was about 22 weeks when he found out I was pregnant. Yeah, we, uh, I, found out I, I was through the hospital appointments, cannot... all the pregnancy, ran her bath when she needed it. I went to the store when she wanted something. You know, I was there. And so at 22 <laughs> weeks, you find this out, and yet you still stick by her. Yes. And you stick by the baby. Yes, Your Honor. And you are there. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> and are you there when baby Ireland is born? Yes, Your Honor. I was at the hospital. The other guy was not by our choice. But um, I requested to have, and I, I requested to have a DNA test done at the hospital. But I left for 10 minutes to go outside, get some fresh air or whatever. And I came back up and, you know, talked to Miss Taylor to see if she had talked to the doctors about getting one done. And she said no, that she wasn't going to do it. When we got home, I, you know, I was like, why? And she was like, because I don't want you to leave me. Okay. He's telling the truth. Yes, he is. I want to have the best for her that I can provide for. If I can't do it, then. I want the father to do it. That's why I hyphenated the last name, too. Yeah. Just in case, you know, she's not my kid, and, you know, she legally, I'm still on the birth certificate, and I'm not going to be taken off of it unless she decides to take me off of it. So Even you are I her... Even though I knew that, you know, there was a possibility still in my heart that I knew there was a possibility that she wasn't mine. You are her legal father. Yes, yes. 
You are here today to determine if you are her biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Why is it is so important to you to establish that you were also the biological father? I've never fully gotten into my medical disorder. You know, I've never fully looked into it. I've never made myself 100% of way aware of exactly what was going on. You know, in my heart, knowing for so long that I've never had a kid, I've been trying to have a kid since I've been 18 years old, and, you know, it's just something I need to and know. And so, uh, Ireland is eight months old. Yes, ma'am. Has it affected your ability to bond with her? Sometimes it does feel a little wrong to be trying to bond with a kid that may not be mine, but like I said, I've been there, you know, her whole life. I always and get just... worried that he's gonna leave me because you never know, you know, he's been there this whole time. But you now fear that Mr. Runnels will leave. Yeah, because when I... Oh, no, it's gonna happen. I mean, if, if she's not mine, I gotta go. You know, it's just bottom line. You positive, you, you're, you're done if this is not. Yes. You cannot stay in this relationship no. if Ireland is not your biological no. dog. It, it just, it'll cause too many problems. And... So, a lot is on the line. Oh, yes, definitely. I have evidence here. I don't know. If I'd like to see that. What is the evidence? State? Um, there's an ultrasound in there, and it was 22 weeks. It shows the baby's features, about how looks, how she looks, and the thing that gets me is I don't really see him so much in Ireland as I do like I see the other guys like forehead, the ears, the chin stuff. I'm sorry, but what but she gets has my me big is so these are pictures of. <laughs> These are pictures of Ireland. Yeah, that was at 22 weeks. You can see the features. They, that was a 3D ultrasound and a 4D one combined. Uh, that's when I started to think that he wasn't the father. So I left it as that, and I didn't want to tell him because I liked the way it was. I was happy with the way we were so living life. So and... the other guy does not believe he can be the father either? No, he doesn't. He don't want nothing. To, he don't even want nothing to do with her. He goes back and forth, Your Honor. I'm not even going to lie. I've, I've heard over the last couple of months, different things, you know, he was wanting to, and then he didn't want to, and then other people tell him that it is, that it, you know, he needs to get What was your relationship at. like with this other guy? Well, we only known each other for like almost a year. And then he came over one night and went to hang out. We hung out and it led into more than that. A week later, I took a pregnancy test. They both came up positive. And I told him not to get his hopes up on the first one because I didn't want to have him go thinking, oh, yeah, I'm having a baby, you know, and then okay. I go to the hospital and I find Before out it's not Before we get into that, that's baby. kind of funny how Miss Taylor says that he came over because her whole story to me was she met him out at the park and they went out to the woods to we met at No, we met park. at the park and we had went back to my house. But, oh. yeah, you just said she came, he came over to the house. He so you're over. getting new information today. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So you were told... I was told that it happened outside of my house in a park somewhere outside. That's, I did, I just told him that. You did? Yes, but did. in actuality, this man Absolutely. was in, in my your house, home. In yes. my bed. Since we're telling the truth now, right. the truth, right. was this really a one night stand? It or really was. did it happen more than once? It was honestly, my right hand to God, it was only one time we ever, one time only, and that's the only time we ever had it, and then my, she happened. I just don't understand, like, I don't, I'm confused about her a little bit because I don't know, her eyes match his, it's like, but uh, me and like him said, had brown she eyes. Looks just like me, look yeah. at her. But she chin, had... my big old elephant ears. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Kyle. You believe she looks like you. 100%. So, Miss Taylor, does she also look like the other guy to you? She, uh, yes, Your Honor, she it, does. She, she does her... have some of his features. I want to dig into this medical condition because I want to learn more about it. Before I do, Ms. Taylor, can you please explain to the court your issue with the timeline? You say this is also a point of confusion, the timeline. Me and the other guy had an intercourse on the 26th of December of 2015. And when we, had, when we did that, a week later, like January 1st, on my mom's birthday, as a matter of fact, I found out that I was pregnant. And it wasn't, I don't... I didn't, it didn't add up to me because I thought it took a month. You had to be pregnant a month before your missed period in order to be free to be pregnant. So you're saying you, you had just had sex with the other guy four or five days before you found out you were pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. So you thought maybe I was already pregnant? Yes. And that would have been by Mr. Runnels? Right. But because of the medical condition, you thought... You yeah. don't, you, that's why you don't know. Yeah, because I don't want to say that it is his kid and then and I don't want her growing up like I did. I grew up with no father. So <laughs> I want her to have the best future she can have. <laughs> I don't want my daughter to have no father and 
I want the best for her. I want her to have an outstanding childhood. I want her to go to college, graduate, you know, everything. But she can't do that without having her father. She needs a father to be able to have a shoulder to cry on. When mommy's not around, I just feel like if she had, if she actually know who's, know who's her real dad is, when she gets 18, she won't hate me as much either. Because she'll be like, well, you, at least you, you, know, you went up to court, you did all this for me, you went and did a DNA to prove to me that, you know, to show me who the real father was. And that's what I want. I just want to make sure that she can have the best childhood she can ever possibly have. You know, I, I Ms. Taylor, I, I must say to you, what I just heard was not a woman trying to save her relationship, but I just heard a mother trying to save her daughter. The bravery you're showing right now is even beyond your mistakes, you want your child to have the best. Yes. And you're willing to put yourself on the line, yes. your comfort, yes. your life with this man yes. to get her the answer she needs. Yes. And that's what being a mother is. I'll drop everything for her. I love her. That's what being a mother is. You put your child before yourself. So we have a timeline issue and a medical issue. Yes. Right. We now understand the timeline issue. I want to further understand the medical issue. So I've asked uh, Dr. Brown Parks to join us today. Jerome, will you please escort the doctor into the courtroom? I'd like to ask her some questions about your medical condition. It's fine. So that we can further understand. <clears throat> Hello, doctor. Good morning, judge. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mr. Runnels says he has a condition called hypospadias. He was told by medical professionals that it may affect his ability to have children. Can you further explain this condition? Definitely. So hypospadias, and I brought a visual for you, um, is an opening of the urethra in the incorrect position. So on a normal penis, the tip of the penis is where the urethra comes out. In our patient's case, his is a little bit lower. So hypospadias can come in all sorts of varieties. And usually with surgery, it's completely corrected. After I was like 15, I think, and the doctor was like, you know what, you're old enough. You can decide whether you wanna have another one later in life or not. And you know what, I was, at that point, after I've had four or five surgeries, I was just like, I'll let God take care of it. So he's saying that his surgeries were not successful. Correct. And so not being successful doesn't necessarily affect his fertility. He still can have a good urine stream. Um, and that's really a good test of the track of the semen. So given the fact that he has normal testicles from reviewing his case, um, that's where the sperm are produced and the outflow track takes the same outflow track as urine. So this does not necessarily preclude him from being able to father a child. Not at all. Which is pretty but, much what you were told. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, you know, it's like I said, it's, they never gave me a 50-50 or a 60-40 or a 70-30. It was just a chance that it may not or may happen. Very interesting testimony. Thank you, doctor. You're so, Ms. Taylor, after hearing the doctor's testimony, does this give you any further hope that maybe baby Ireland is Mr. Runnels' biological child? I mean, child? there's always a chance for everything in life. So, it'd be a miracle for him and make his life so much better at completing him. Well, I have to <clears> say, <throat> despite everything that has transpired, you all have truly done the very best you can Yes. to try to make sure this beautiful, innocent young girl has a good start to her life. Amen. So let's, let's get the answers we came here for. Yes, Your Honor. And let's hope that we can continue to do that with the truth as a foundation. Jerome, I'm ready okay. for the results. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Runnels versus Taylor, when it comes to eight-month-old Ireland Taylor Runnels, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Runnels, you are her father. Yes. Oh my God. 
really good. That's awesome. It is. Oh, it is a Made baby. me nervous for a minute, but that's... It really is his baby. It's great. It's a miracle baby. Yes, she is. It's gonna help our relationship out. It's gonna help our little It's gonna help family. my relationship with Ireland a lot more than it already is. Well, you've been there for her from the beginning. Yes, I have. And you've given her your name. Yes. You are her legal father, yes. and you are her biological father. Thank you. And so I'm so very happy for you both. I hope this is now that last piece of truth you needed to have a, a family. A family, it's the foundation family. of your family. And I wish you all the very, very best of luck taking care of that beautiful little girl. Thank, Thank you so you, much, Your Honor. Honor. Thank you. You've warmed my heart today. Court is adjourned. Thank you. I can't believe it. It's just too good to be true. I love you. <laughs> well, look, baby, it's Ireland. Hi, baby. Hi. His daddy. Hey. <laughs> His daddy.